All right, guys. Here at this canal, it's an unknown canal, but trying out some ultralight action here. See what we can catch. Let this guy sink down a little bit. Oh shit! Well, look at that, guys. A little largemouth bass on a 164 ounce jig head. <laughs> That's pretty cool. As soon as I drew, <laughs> threw it in. Easy there, little guy. Got him good. Tiny little bass. Look at this guy. All right. All right, let this guy go. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Micro fishing right there. See if we could do that again. Ooh, I had a bite. I think it was a bluegill. Who knows? All right. There we go. Another little bass. This one's a little bigger than the first one. Easy there, guy. There you go. Another little bass. <laughs> Alright, let this guy go. Woo! Alright, let's go on to the other side. Alright. I wonder if I can catch a big bluegill. go another bass they keep on getting bigger oh shit all right there we go <laughs> it's like I'm out of here Which one should I use? I got a bunch of these little jig heads. Most of them are 164 ounce. I got these. You know what? Which one should I use? I'm gonna try this. See what we could get. I caught many fish off of this. Bass, warmouth, spotted uh, sunfish, bluegill, Mayans, Oscars brown bullhead catfish uh, what else yeah, I think that's it alright so basically I'm running straight braid with this because it's 10 pound test so it's the same diameter as 2 pound mono or fluorocarbon so it's pretty much the thinnest you can get it and what I like to do when I'm running straight braid is good old Palomar knot. And the Palomar knot works best with braid because it just locks it down. Now the only thing I hate about tying knots with small diameter lines, it's just very difficult.
lube it up a little bit. There we go. some action. Hopefully we catch some more fish off of this. Alright, enough of this ultralight action. It's time to break out the big guns. Start off with this jig. Let's catch a 20 pounder here. Oh yes! Look what I caught! Big thing of weeds. Alright, let's see if we can catch some bass with this yum dinger. Going with the June bug. Wow. Wow, this is a dark bass. Look how dark he is. Yeah. Ooh. Like he's got some cancer on him a little bit. A nice about probably a one and a quarter pound. All right. I guess he was hiding right in that foliage. Right into that grass too. Under that stuff. Oh no, there he is. All right. I really love this combo here. Silver Max and this uh, Kuma TCS rod. Great combo. There we go. There we go. Alright, bass number two off of this. Oh shit. Ooh, almost saw you. Bass number two. <laughs> there we go. Yum dinger bass. One of my favorite stick worms to use. Alright, that's bass number five. Three off the ultralight and two off this uh, jig and worm rod. This one's not as dark as the other bass. Later, dude. The old June bug. I really like this color. <laughs> I like a lot of colors. Let's catch us another one. That was a perfect spot, right in that little hole right there. And that's where I was aiming to. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. I think. It's a weird hook set. That is a weird hook set. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely a different bass. Oh man. I ripped him pretty good. Easy guy. Dang. Didn't mean to do that. Look at that. Shh. All right. 
I'm going to have to cut this because I don't want to rip the hook the other way and do any more damage. Jeez. I saw, I felt him hit it and I don't know how that happened. There you go. Another bass. Nice. I hope you survive, guy. Alright. That was a big bass. <laughs> what? He's just cruising along. There it is. There it is. Go, got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the bass that was following it. Dang. I got that mug. Excellent. Hey, guys. Hey. This is the biggest one I've caught out of here. Like I said, you never know. Uh, four pound bass. Four pounds. Yeah, four pound chunk right here. Oh yeah. Four pounds, guys. Four pound bass, yeah. You need to move that bitch out of the way. You ain't been throwing back in. Yeah. Oh, you just, you just record it? Yeah, I just catch and release all the time. Oh, okay. Alright, guys. Nice four pound chunk here. I saw him swimming up yeah. and I spooked him and he swam that way and I threw a chatterbait out that way and brought it near him. That was awesome. I saw that bass and it followed it. Nice four pound chunk. That's what I'm talking about. All right guys, so I'm back. Had a pretty, uh, I'd say good day of fishing, you know. Was able to um, catch a few off the ultralight and a few off my uh, jig and worm rod. So I really enjoyed it, especially catching that last one. Uh, those uh, guys uh, working there, they were doing some work in the ditch and uh, they were talking to me about uh, me fishing in that area if I've ever caught anything and whatnot and it was pretty awesome, you know, pulling in that four pounder uh, while they were all working there so that was pretty cool and uh, you know, like uh, I told those guys, you never know what kind of bass or what kind of uh, fish are in any type of water. Until you just uh, fish it and you find out. So, uh, pretty awesome way to end it. I had to leave because uh, they were doing some work in the uh, ditch next to the area and uh, opened up a hole and a lot of water was coming through so that messed up the fishing right there so I called it quits so uh, it was a uh, nice day you know started around I say about noon ish and uh, it was about uh, 4.30 4.45 uh, when I left so yeah nice uh 
cloudy. Uh, it wasn't too hot. Most of the time it was cloudy, so, you know, for the weather there. Then it got sunny towards the end. It was a real nice outing, especially using the ultralight. I was aiming for some other species, like Warmouth, because uh, I've seen a few in there, and that's what I was trying to get, but uh, I was happy with the uh, three bass I got on there. So, I just hope you liked this uh, video here. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for more cool stuff, and as always, tight lines and keep fishing. Later, guys.